Kitties, it's Naima, aka The Sugar Goddess, and I am back with another video. As you can see by the title, this video is about my armpit hygiene. Yes, yes, we will be getting into that. I feel like it was important to do this video because previously in my other hygiene videos, I've been talking about this particular product, which is Dove. I don't have a problem with the brand. I still use the Dove body wash, Dove bar soaps, but as far as the Dove deodorant, I do not use anymore. Now, I could have been talking about any brand, but because I only use Dove deodorant, that's all I know, that's all I use, I am speaking on the deodorant that I use which is up. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on your bell notifications to get more videos from moi and be notified when I upload a new video. And also follow me on Instagram at the Queen Naima. I really hate shouting out my Instagram. Like I really, really hate it. Cause I know there's nothing going on there and y'all gonna scroll like, mm -mm. But because I wanna grow and I wanna expand, the Queen Naima is my Instagram. So getting on with the story, I was just this big advocate for Dove deodorant, Dove, 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 Dove is the best. It's still the best to me, but I don't think personally it's Dove. I just think it's the ingredients in these deodorants. If you know me and you've been subscribed to my channel for a while or whatever, you know that I talk about Dove a lot. I have this armpit hygiene video that I, I uploaded like last year late last year i believe and i was just talking about how you know you should use dove deodorant to stay fresh stay fresh all day that's basically what the video was when you come out the shower and you want to keep your underarms fresh of course you want to use deodorant my favorite brand to use is dove i do not use dove deodorant anymore my current dove deodorant i have that i no longer use are Dove Nourishing Secrets Indulging Ritual. 48 hours antiperspirant, vanilla and cocoa butter. And the other one that I have is Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray Shea Butter. Most deodorants have antiperspirant in them. If you don't know what antiperspirant is, that is an ingredient that blocks sweat from coming through your pores. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't use it, but for people like me who have sensitive skin and have like reactions to these ingredients, shouldn't. I've noticed that when I use these deodorants, I develop like a lump under the skin. I've been noticing this for some time now, but I'm just like, I didn't think anything of it. Did I think it was the deodorant? It didn't start like soon when I started using deodorant. It started to happen like teenage years. I used to notice it. Little tenderness going on, but I didn't really pay attention to I did, but it would come and go. So since it came and went, I'm thinking, hey, it's harmless. I don't really know what it is, but it's, you know, leaving every few weeks. So it must not be that harmful even though it was annoying because it was hard it was tender when i lift up my underarms you could see the the firmness of the bump the lump whatever you want to call it and it's inside of the skin it's not like on the outside it's a word for it i'm going to show y'all it this is the word right here i'm not even gonna bust my brain to even try to pronounce it because i'm hot a chronic skin condition featuring lumps in places such as the armpits or groin. The skin lesions develop as a result of inflammation and infection of sweat glands. Symptoms. This condition features pea to marble sized lumps under the skin that can be painful and tend to enlarge and drain pus. So basically, it'll do whatever it wants to do. If it doesn't want to grow, it won't grow. It'll just stay there, stay small, and go away eventually. If it wants to grow big, that pus is going to form and it's just going to be all nasty. Especially, like, you have to wear your shirts. Just picking up your arm and just finding out that the lump, the bump, it burst. And then you see the pus all on your shirt is disgusting. I'm going to show you guys a picture. And the reason why I took a picture is because this is the biggest it's ever been for me. Like, it's the biggest it's ever been for me. I was just like, what the heck? I didn't even want to lift up my arm and look at that. It just looked like something was about to crawl out. A creature was about to crawl out of my skin. Like, 
Ew. So before I show y'all the picture, listen, if you eating, put that food down, just walk away. Eat it up. If it's in your mouth, eat it up, swallow it, drink some water, and come back to this video and watch it. Breathe because this looks nasty. All right, I'm about to show y'all. Y'all ready? So this is my armpit with the bump on there, and it just looks disgusting. Like, it just looks disgusting. It looks like a white man's nipple. And this was like the last stage of it, like the last big stage of it before that pus came right out. Every time I wore a shirt, like every hour, it'd be like pus things in my sleeve. Like it was just so disgusting and truly painful. It's causing an infection within my pores because my pores is not reacting well to the ingredients that's in these deodorants. Sometimes skin does not react well to deodorants because you are meant to sweat. You are meant to stink. It's natural for us to smell like onions and garlic. It's natural for us to be musty. That's why these things are created to prevent it. But our body is meant to sweat. Our body is meant to create bacteria that smells. That's just how it is. So when you put on things like antiperspirants and you know odor blockers and stuff like that sweat blockers you might get a reaction if your skin don't like it after the bump went down i did go two weeks without deodorant i did but the thing is you gotta wash your behind you gotta wash your behind now when i say wash your behind i don't only mean wash your behind just your butt your behind me means everything like it just means everything wash your behind just basically means wash your body you have to wash up you have to wash up. Some people can survive the day without deodorant. Especially if you don't sweat that much. You're not really a sweater and stuff like that. I'll sweat. Like, if I'm hot, like, it gotta be hot. It gotta be blazing. Now, I'm a sweat. And then I'm, I'm a smell. But my smell is that you gotta be up on me. Like, you're not gonna smell me like if I walk past you. Like, oh, she's staying. So that's why I could survive the day without deodorant. But you have to wash up. You have to wash up. You have to exfoliate. Be careful when you exfoliate because some people have sensitive skin. They can't take it. But if you can, like myself, I exfoliate with exfoliating gloves. Every single day I wash up with exfoliating gloves. My armpit area, I shave to minimize hair. But even when you don't have hair on the underarms, it still smells. Also, you can use witch hazel. When you come out the shower, you can use witch hazel to be fresh. To stay fresh, keep your underarms from sweating, keep your pores fresh. I'm putting a little bit of powder under there, you know? Keep it dry, keep it nice and dry. But also, not everything works for the whole entire day. Not everything works for 48 hours like they claim. But um, just keep up. You have to keep re reapplying, you have to keep rewashing. Like, you just have to do that. So I was looking at um natural deodorants on Google and I found one that I like. This is not new, but it's new to me. And the deodorant that I use now is native deodorant. Coconut and vanilla. Paraben free, aluminum free. This smells so good, like a very light, sweet coconut. So yes, this does not have those ingredients that affects my skin. So I do use it and I love using it. I feel like I'm doing a good thing for my skin. I'm not putting anything harmful on it or something that's forcing my pores to do something that it doesn't want to do native deodorant has natural ingredients so this is going to be my new everyday go-to deodorant any brand of deodorant with antiperspirant no good if you don't react bad to the deodorants good for you keep doing what you do but uh no people like me that deodorant gotta go. So when I develop the bump or lump, the way I would treat it is I would take a break from the deodorant. But before, when I didn't know it was the deodorant, I would spray deodorant on top of the bump. Every day, every day, every day, every day. And it would get bigger. Sometimes it wouldn't pus, sometimes it would. Another way I would get rid of it is putting warm water, like pressing down on it with like a warm rag. Get the rag. Have it under your underarm, put your arm down so you could create that warm pressure under there. And do this every day or like twice a day. Do it like when you wash up during the day and wash up in the night. 
Hey y'all, I'm adding this clip in because I forgot the most important treatment that I use when I develop when I develop these bumps is tree tea oil. If you don't have tree tea oil, you need to get it. Tree tea oil is the best for those lumps under your armpits, razor bumps, acne, pimples, all of that. As soon as I get those, I put tea tree oil on it every single day. In the day and in the night time. I don't know how I forgot that information out. But tea tree oil is like the number one treatment for bumps. Okay? Bye. This is where the bump was. The bump is still there a little bit. But it is going down. And it's getting dark. Over time, when it's, you know, gone completely, my skin will lighten back up. But yeah, so I went from that to this without having to do anything extra. So yeah, that's my armpit story. This is a part of my armpit hygiene now, my routine. It's gonna be a part of my everyday. Bye bye Dove deodorant, but I'm still gonna use those body washes. I'm still gonna use those soaps, all of that, all of that, all of that. But as far as my underarms, you know, very, very sensitive. That is the end of my video. I hope you all enjoyed it. It is Queen Naima, aka the Sugar Goddess. Give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And turn on your bell notifications to get more videos from me if you are interested. And I will see y'all in the next video.